So you're thinking of starting keto, but you're not sure how it works or if it's a good idea to begin with. In this video, we'll be going over what is keto, how does it actually work, is this something you should try, why or why not, and potential long-term effects of a keto diet that no one talks about. If you're new here, my name is Alex Mendoza, I'm an online coach, and I've helped hundreds of men lose 50 to 100 pounds and keep it off without restricted diets or spending long hours at the gym so that you can improve your health, build your confidence, and ultimately live longer and live better. So if that's you, hit that subscribe button and watch my old videos for a ton of free value. Now, keto is a very popular dieting method. You've probably heard it from friends, family, or even celebrities who swear by its effectiveness for weight loss and overall health. It promises quick results and doesn't require much brain power, but no one actually understands why it works or how it works. Now, the ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein and very low carbohydrate diet. The goal is to shift your body's primary source of energy from carbohydrates to fat. Normally, your body converts carbs into glucose, which is then used for energy. On keto, with carbs being dramatically reduced, your body enters a state called ketosis, where it transitions to burning fat for fuel. Studies show that by following a keto diet, it can significantly reduce blood sugar levels and insulin levels, which makes sense because you're literally not eating anything else except protein and fats. Now, keto was originally designed to help manage medical conditions like epilepsy back in the 1920s. So how does this process actually work? When you consume very few carbs, your liver starts producing ketones from fat. These ketones become the main energy source for your body, and this process is called ketosis. A study was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism demonstrated 83 obese patients, 39 being men and 44 being women, and it found that participants on a keto diet lost more weight and body fat than those on a low-fat diet. It was a 24-week case study with their diets consisting of 30 grams of carbs, 1 gram per kilo of body weight in protein, 20% of saturated fats and 80% of polysaturated and monosaturated fats in obese patients. And here's why the internet is full of shit. Studies can be easily manipulated to support their thesis. What the study failed to mention is how many calories were consumed when subjects followed a keto diet versus a low-fat diet. Ultimately, your calorie intake will determine if you gain or lose weight. You can follow a keto diet and if you're in a caloric surplus, you will gain weight. If you're on a low-fat diet and your calories are significantly lower than your maintenance intake, I can guarantee you that you will lose a lot of weight. The laws of thermodynamics play a crucial role in understanding weight loss. This law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. For weight loss, this means that the energy intake through food must be less than the energy expended by the body. This then creates a calorie deficit. This deficit forces the body to use stored energy, primarily from fat sources, leading to weight loss. Now, another study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition demonstrated that keto dieters maintain muscle mass better than those on a calorie-restricted, low-fat diet. However, the study does not consider the role of progressive overload paired with sufficient food intake during this fat loss phase. Dietary protein and resistance exercise effects on muscle and body composition in older adults, published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, highlights the importance of protein in conjunction with resistance training for muscle maintenance during weight loss. Now, to keep things simple, as long as you're burning more calories than you're eating, you will lose weight. And as long as you're eating one gram per centimeter of height, and at the very least maintaining your strength and performance at the gym, you will maintain muscle mass. Keto also has potential benefits for mental clarity and energy level. When your brain uses ketones instead of glucose, it can operate more efficiently, leading to improved cognitive function and sustained energy levels throughout the day. To an extent, I do agree. Consuming a lot of carbs, especially sugar, will make you feel sleepy, tired, and sluggish. But you will have the same fucking experience if you're not eating enough carbs. It's all about figuring out how much your body specifically needs. I personally like to delay my breakfast because I do notice an increase in focus, productivity, and mental clarity. But when I'm dieting and I'm only eating 150 grams of carbs per day, and I'm fasting throughout the entire morning, the only thing I can think about is food. So ultimately, it really comes down to figuring out what your body needs and what you best respond to. There are seven steps you need to follow to transition into ketosis. Stage one involves you dramatically reducing your carb intake to about 20 to 50 grams per day. 
The purpose of this is to deplete your body's glucose stores. Now for stage two, to compensate for the lack of carb, increase your fat intake to about 70 to 75% of your daily calories. 20 to 25% of your caloric intake should still be from protein and only five to 10% from carbohydrates. By stage three, your body will still try to produce glucose using protein and fat. This process eventually slows down as your body adapts to using ketones for energy. Stage four, after two to seven days of low carb eating, your body's insulin levels drops. This signals your liver to start producing ketones from fatty acids. This marks the beginning of ketosis and you can double check by using urine strips, blood meters, or breath analyzers designed to measure ketone levels. At stage five, as your body adjusts, it becomes more efficient in producing and using ketones. And at this point, your body primarily burns fat for energy. Now, that looks great and sounds good in writing, but what happens when you're starving or when you want to go with friends, family, or coworkers and find yourself eating more than 50 grams of carbs? You have to start again to re-enter a state of ketosis. And just like that, you undid all the bullshit you went through. And do you really want to be that guy in the office or that guy in social outings and family gatherings? Nobody likes that guy. Now, I know that keto already sounds terrible, but we haven't even gotten to the side effects. There's something called the keto flu. Symptoms include headaches, fatigue, dizziness, nausea, irritability, and difficulty sleeping. Keto breath is also a thing, and as the body enters ketosis, it produces ketones, including acetone which is excreted through breath and urine. So no matter how many times you brush your teeth, you will still have bad breath. So you might lose the weight, but your breath will stink. Now, in a corporate environment, not the best reputation to have. By following keto for a prolonged period of time, you will also become nutrient deficient, particularly in vitamins and minerals found in fruits, vegetable, and whole grain. You have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, due to the high saturated fat intake, which may raise bad cholesterol levels. You may experience digestive issues due to the lack of fiber in your diet. You might cause potential disruption of thyroid function, which plays a huge role in metabolism regulation. You'll be moody, tired, have poor cognitive function, and the list goes on. Now the big question is, should you try keto? If you want my personal opinion, it's a big no for me, and I advise strongly against it. The diet is restrictive and is not a long-term solution. Instead, learn how to track your calories and macros. I've created a video, the link is in the description, or if you have any problems, message me on Instagram and I'd be more than happy to help. If you've tried keto before, drop a comment and let me know what your experience was like. And if you're struggling to lose weight, hit that subscribe button and watch my old content for free value.